Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own, and then when you're ready, press play and, and we'll solve it together. All right, so let's start by reading this question. The country of Benin in West Africa, sorry for mispronouncing that, has a population of 9.05 million. So I need to write that down. The pop is 9.05 million. But if you remember, million, that's 10 to the 6th, right? So it's 9.05 times 10 to the 6th. I knew that because, side note, a million is one zero 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 zero, and that is equivalent to 10 multiplied 6 times. I know that because every time you multiply by 10, you add a 0, uh, assuming you're starting at the number 1. So 6 zeros is 10 to the 6th for a million. The population is growing at a rate of 3.1%. So we have a growth here, 3.1%, uh, which is 0 0.031. I got that because... 3.1% uh, literally means 3.1 divided by 100. And you divide by 100 moving your decimal to the left twice, so these statements are all equivalent. Um, which function we use to find a population seven years from now? So the way this works, is, this is exponential growth, and you start out with 9.05 times 10 to the sixth, right? Which I see in each of my equations here. And then you're going to take that amount and try to look at a population increase of 3.1%. So you could do that in two steps. You can take the, the population, multiply it by 0 0.031, that gives you 3%. And then you can take that amount and add it to basically 100%, add it to the total amount of people that were there originally, right? But really, you can think of this combined like terms, this combined like terms, excuse me, um, 0 0.031 groups of the population plus one group of the population is the same thing as 1.031 groups of the entire population. And if I haven't convinced you by saying that, let me show it how you might see it algebraically. Um, let's just agree, first of all, that these populations here and here are equal. So for fun, let's call that population x. So let's say that's x. Let's rewrite this statement using x. So x times 0 0.031 plus x times 1. So algebraically, if we have one group of x and then 0 0.031 groups of x, we put them together, what would we get? We would get um, x groups of 1.031 or 1.031 x. So, and you know, this number is, it might be hard to wrap your head around these bigger numbers. Think about any percent you deal with. Like let's say I have $100, right? If I have $100 and I want to grow that by 5%, I can say, well, what's 5% of 100? Well, that's 100 times 0 0.05. 5% of 100 is $5. But remember, you're not done there, just like when we multiply by 0 0.031, we're not done. We have to take this 5%. That's how much we gain. If we don't know the, the total, we'd add 5% back to 100. So you take 100 and add 5 to it and get 105. That, that would be your answer after you grow 5%. So essentially, you took 100, right, and you multiply that by 5% and then added it to 100% or the original amount. It's the same as multiplying 100 by 1.05, which is 105%. Just like here, we have 103.1% 100 uh, of the original. Now, if I haven't confused you, um, I'll explain it another way. Don't worry, but let me just finish this one explanation. Um, so every year that passes, we essentially repeat this process this whole thing right here, we multiply the original population by another 1.031. The next time we do it, we take that whole number and multiply it by another 1.031, and so on and so forth. So if we do this seven times, we'll get our answer, which is actually choice two, right? Two, excuse me, choice three. Notice it's one plus 0 0.031 to the seventh. That represents seven repetitions of increasing by 3.1%. Now, if you don't like that explanation, sorry, let me explain it a different way. Typically with exponential functions, you always start with some principal amount, like some beginning balance in finance, it's called a principal balance, or a beginning population. That number goes here. Then if your population is growing, you always take one and add the percent increase. So it's one plus 0 0.031%. And this number here always represents the exponent as either x or t, or whatever it is in this case. In this case it would be t, I suppose, right? F of t. It represents some interval that you're repeating the process. So the only difference would be if you're losing population, let's say, that would be choice four, where you take one and you subtract 3.1% each year. So percent growth is one plus the percent growth. 
uh, percent decrease, it's one minus the decrease. And in the front, you always have some beginning number that you're starting with. All right, hope I didn't ramble on too much there, and I hope this helped. Thanks.